Hi all. Today I am going to show you, how to build a deep learning algorithm using neural networks with hidden layers and the model is built using TensorFlow in Spider IDE that is Python 3.6. I have used Spider IDE, as my platform to build the machine learning models. So, I am building linear regression model using neural networks, in order to predict relationship between the features that has potential to show impact on the target variable and also predicts the results of the test data by determining the error rate by minimizing the loss generated. What is Deep Learning Neural Networks? Neural networks are a set of algorithms, modeled loosely after the human brain, that are designed to recognize patterns. They interpret sensory data through a kind of machine perception, labeling or clustering raw input. Deep learning networks are distinguished from the more commonplace single hidden layer neural networks by their depth that is, the number of node layers through which data passes in a multi-step process of pattern recognition. In deep learning networks, each layer of node strains on a distinct set of features based on the previous layer's output. The further you advance into the neural net, the more complex the features your nodes can recognize, since they aggregate and recombine features from the previous layer, for completing this process we need to have some prerequisites they are. JDK Spider IDE, Python version 3.6, 64-bit, version TensorFlow package. So, I am importing the dataset by name, Iris from the library, sklearn, where you can see the data and its attributes, total samples, number of classes or species of flowers. This is the iris dataset, with images of the species of flowers, and the relevant data parameters. In this scenario, I am classifying the data into features and label where this features have a potential to linearly impact on the prediction of target data. Now, open the spider ride and you can see the initial step starts with importing the packages that are required for building the code. I have used matplotlib library, for plotting the graphs, nympy to build arrays, tensorflow for building the model using tensors. To import the data, create a variable by name iris, and call the dataset from sklearn, by using datasets.load underscore iris. Classify the data into features and labels, where label is the target variable, which is used for the prediction, based on the feature variables. So here I have considered sepal length, sepal width and petal length as features and petal width as a label. Features data is stored in the object, x underscore vowels, and labeled data is stored in the object, y underscore vowels. Then, create a session object which encapsulates the environment, in which all the operations are executed and tensor objects are evaluated, and graphs can be launched. So, the cess is the object we have created and, call the object by using the function, df.session. Since the dataset is of a smaller size, set the seed value to make the results reproducible. Since, the model we are building, is a supervised model, we are splitting the data into train set, and test set. So, 80% of the data is assigned, to the train set and 20% is assigned to the test set. The model is built using the train set data, and further the model performance is tested based on the test data, for each train set, and test set, the featured data and label data is taken, separately into the objects like x underscore vowels underscore train, x underscore vowels underscore test, y underscore vowels underscore train, y underscore vowels underscore test for using them in further computations. Next, normalize the train set and test set data in order to achieve more correlation between the features to improve the performance of the model. Next, set the batch size as 50 through which the model estimates the performance. Then create placeholders for the feature x underscore data with shape as, none, 3, and label, y underscore target providing proper shape as, none, 1. None here represents that you can feed n number of rows to the placeholder. Now initiate the model building process by building neural networks for data computations. In order to build that, we need to create hidden layers or nodes, and it is your choice to consider the number of hidden layers 
that you would like keep to build the model. Here, we can set the hidden layer nodes as 5, then create model variables and declare these variables, with appropriate shape which indicates the assignment of hidden layers to each of these features. As per the linear model, each feature will be multiplied with its slope, and in this scenario we have three features to which we have considered five hidden layers. So each weight, slope is assigned to five hidden layers, so for three features there are 15 weights and five constants, which form a linear equation and then, create another model variable which takes the hidden layer output, and stores the value inside the variable as final output which has 5 weights and 1 constant, since we are storing the output value in this variable. So totally there will be 26 variables in the model through which the model performs linear regression on the data provided. Once we have set variables, now we need to create a linear equation to build the model for the other feature variables and it is written as, hidden underscore output equals tf.nn.relu df.add, df.matmol, x underscore data, a1, b1, final underscore output equals df.nn.relu, df.add, df.matmol, hidden underscore output, a2, b2, here we have used an activation function for hidden layers which is shown here as an n.relu. This is called as the rectifier linear units and it estimates output as zero if the input is less than zero and if the input is greater than zero, then output is equal to the input. It acts like a real neuron in your body and the function of the ReLU activation can be expressed as, fx equals max x, zero. Next, build a loss function which estimates the error value between the predicted and actual measurement and it is written as loss equals df dot reduce underscore mean df dot square y underscore target model underscore output now we will estimate the residual losses on the actual data and it is written as residuals equals model underscore output minus y underscore target next create a function to find the accuracy of the model so I have performed two operations, one is subtraction to find the difference between the predicted value and the actual value. Then, perform division operation with resultant output and the actual value. Next, in order to minimize the error value on the given train data, gradient descent optimizer function is used which takes the error value and adjusts the predicted values with respect to the variables A, B where the learning rate is provided and it is utilized for every iteration of the error minimization cycle. The resultant is stored in the object my underscore opt and it is written as my underscore opt equals df dot drain dot gradient descent optimizer, learning underscore rate. Now, we apply this function to the loss object where the error obtained from the loss function is minimized and adjusts the slope and intercept values and calculates linear model for every iteration we provide with respect to the data values. The function is written as, train underscore step equals my underscore opt dot minimize, loss, next. In order to utilize the variables you have created, first you need to initialize the variables. To initialize all the variables in one go, call tf.global underscore variables underscore initializer, assigned to the object init which needs to be started, by using ses.run, init. Next, you need to create the interactive scalars and histograms that are accessible in the tensor board. It is a device where you could monitor or visualize the predicted results and the estimates of error analysis. In order to access histogram and scalars in the tensor board a summary needs to be generated. So, for that I am taking all the summary functions and data using, summary underscore op equals df dot summary dot merge underscore all. Now we need to feed the data into the train and test set utilizing the placeholders and the initialized variables are used to perform linear computations and calculates the error rate with respect to slope and intercept of the linear model. So initially, create two objects named as loss underscore vec, test underscore loss. This objects are utilized in the computations to append the results that are generated from the loss and predicted functions and further used for plotting the graphs. 
As you can see, a for loop is created providing the iteration range as 2000 and the new objects are created to access the feeding data with respect to the batch size by name rand underscore index, rand underscore x and rand underscore y. All the functions are called inside the loop such as loss function, residual loss, and summary function of histogram and scalars and provided the train and test data is fed for the computation by running the session using sess.run. For every iteration a record will be inserted from the train and test data and all the algorithmic computations are performed and results are appended into loss underscore vec, temp underscore loss, test underscore loss, now, I will call those functions of accuracy in the loop and feed the data to perform subtraction and division operations. For every output of division obtained, if the output is greater than or equal to zero, then it is subtracted from one else, the output is added with one and the mean of the result and output is calculated which is called as the accuracy of the model, for every iteration of the loop. The results obtained are stored in the event file which is accessed by the tensor board for developing the computational graphs and it is done by calling the function as writer equals df dot summary dot file writer folder location ses dot graph this event file is stored in a physical location by creating a temp folder in the local c drive within which a folder by name linear underscore neural network let us execute the code now and you will find the variables a b train loss test loss absolute mean square loss difference and accuracy of the model are displayed in the output console you will find the outputs of slope as a and constant as b then train loss and test loss for every iteration and finally the accuracy of the model for each iteration and it is shown as 96.4 percent now with the generated results loss per generation graph is plotted you can visualize the graph in the console for the loss generation for each iteration where the train loss and test loss is gradually decreased as per the gradient descent optimizer now go to the location where you have file location which you have specified in file writer function as shown and copy the location Open command prompt and run the command as shown tensor board log drc colon backslash temp backslash tensor logs backslash linear underscore neural network port 6060. A portal address is generated to access tensor board which access the event files that are generated in the given file location and it is shown as e123pc colon 6060. Open the web browser and access the portal and you can find the tensor board with all dashboards. You can monitor the loss rate in the interactive scalars where the error rate has got gradually decreased. With further improvements and modifications in the data, the error rate can be improvised. Now you can see the computational graphs where you can monitor all the operation nodes with respect to the variables and mathematical functions developed for computations on the three features having 15 slopes and 5 constants. Here the graph shows the combinations of feature variables with their slopes with respect to the hidden nodes we have considered and built a linear regression model. You can also monitor the train data and residual losses in distributions and also in the histograms which shows the gradual increase or decrease of the error levels. This completed the step-by-step -step procedure of building the deep learning model using TensorFlow. That's all for this video, for any queries please reach us at vj.ready at sangam.ai.